The fashion style of the Bucks as they enter the building. Bring out the red carpet. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Bucks. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Friday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. We'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Payne out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the center position. And for the Knicks, Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three slot. Now, always fun to be here for a Christmas broadcast. There is a certain magic in there, Greg, to these games. Kevin, it's always special to play on a holiday. It, it just changes the energy entirely. The crowd, the mood of your fellow players, it's just all better. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Robinson a screen on Beast. Outside for Randall. Hands it from downtown. Randall's got the first points up on the board for the Knicks. Yeah, you know, he's evolving his offense over time, Julius Randall, and I think the coaching staff is happy to see it. They like to see him take and make these shots. Bucket is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Randall. Right side Robinson. The pass to DiVincenzo. Five on the clock. Randall from outside. And Lopez pulls it down. And it's Milwaukee's ball. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's his first foul. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Randall. Brunson with it. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Giannis. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. 23 points his last outing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Here's DiVincenzo. And the rejection by Giannis. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Ananobi finds DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. Here's Brunson. Watch again. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Middleton with it. Brunson picks him up. Middleton dishes to Lopez. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Knicks have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. And when you talk about Giannis's defense, he really has some unique attributes. Boy, does he ever, Greg. I mean, you think about his length, his athleticism, his agility. He's a guy who can defend the ball and the screener almost at the same time because of that great length. So offenses sometimes go away from him in the pick and roll, which allows him to kind of play free safety on that back line as a rim protector. To the left wing, Payne gets a wide open look. It's good. This game is all even. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. Here's Brunson. 
That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Payne looking around. Kicks it down to Middleton. Let's it go from deep. Nicks with the rebound. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. I'll tell you, they played hard. They drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. And that can drive guys absolutely crazy. I mean, they know they're better free throw shooters than that, but just did not get it done from the line. Here's Lopez. OG Ananobi making his last shot. Looking at the Bucks, GA. They've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, that streak should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. Guys want to play with this kid. That's good from Brooke Lopez. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Both shots good from the strike. And the key for Lopez is playing strong. When he does this, he makes an impact on both ends. To the inside, E. Vincenzo. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. Randall against Giannis. Here's Payne. And no good. Trying to use the glass. The Knicks leading by four to the wing on the left. Here's Brunson. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. And the shot goes in. Beasley able to anticipate the contact coming and just played right through it. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Puts it up from 15. Good as the jump shot falls. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Payne passes to Lopez. Giannis outside. Lopez sets a screen for Giannis. Kicks it to Middleton. Shoots over Ananobi. That misses off the backboard. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Brunson finds Robinson. Handle with the ball. Payne covering. That's good from Randall on the assist from Robinson. Seven points for Julius Randall. Bucks trail by six. Here's Giannis driving the lane. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. On the drive, Giannis just did his stride and his strength. Make him hard to handle once he gets going. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Outside for Randall. Beasley against DiVincenzo. To the paint. Lopez with the steal. Beasley against Ananobi. Beasley the pass to Payne. Here's Middleton. Sweet little floater. That's just what we call man up strength from Middleton. I mean taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. Now here's Brunson. He had a 27 point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be. But so far, that's not been the case. How about the amazing crossover there? Demonstrating exactly how dangerous he can be when he's got the rock in his hand. Runs in the pass to Randall. Outside Robinson. Pass to Brunson. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. For Milwaukee, they've gotten 6 of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. No good from Beasley. I like that creativity. Double clutching that catch the defender on the way down. I can go for that. I can go for that. 
Beasley comes with the double team. DiVincenzo picks for Randall. Knocks down the three ball. Randall's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for New York. Good find that time by DiVincenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pass. And there's the pass to Lopez. Now Payne. Pass to Beasley. In the corner, Middleton with it. And a miss there on the triple. The Knicks leading by three. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. And there's DiVincenzo with the quick trigger. Cannot give him any room defensively. You've got to eliminate his airspace. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Providing around 26 and a half points a game. Rarely has an off night. Payne passes to Beasley. And stolen by Guy Vincenzo. Brunson with a clean look. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Now here's Young. Now Robinson. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. He's knocked down three-quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75%. I think it's been a disappointing year for him at the stripe, guys. I mean, he hasn't been as productive as he was last season from there. And, Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Oh, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. That chess match is where they hope to improve. The Knicks making a switch here. Grimes is checked in. Even Shenzo can't hit it. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here's Lopez. And again, the Bucks miss. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Ananobi passes to Randall. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And now we have a moment to recognize the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, Jalen Brunson. And you can see how valuable he is to the team with the amount of offense that he generates. Rarely is there a bucket where he didn't have a hand in creating it. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. A different look for Milwaukee. Jay Crowder's checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Malik Beasley. And Washington subbed in for Cameron Payne. And so it's Milwaukee now. They trail by nine points. Here's Grimes. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Crowder goes in. To the left side wing. Connaughton with a screen on Hart. The kick out to Crowder. Just five to shoot. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. That's his spot, and the defender did everything he could to bother the shot. The Knicks leading by six. Passes it to Hartenstein. Pass to Hart. To the wing right side. On deep. Nick Bride's shot is off. Bucks trail by six. Here's Connaughton, and the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight, and the pass to Grind. No good from outside. Milwaukee's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Portis finds Washington. Now Crowder. Middleton for three, and again Milwaukee with the triple. Hey, sometimes it's simply the fact that good offense is much better than good defense, and Middleton wins that offense and defensive matchup most times. 
While we got a moment, let's now show you the teams that have led the NBA in blocks during the past month. In fourth, the Bucks. They have been racking up the blocks lately. I mean, if they keep this up, they're going to be a very difficult matchup for anybody. Bucks trail by three. Middleton looking it over. Pass to Portis. And it's tonight. Here's Grimes going inside. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got three assists in the game. One twenty-nine left to play in the first quarter. Middleton right side. And a wide open look for Portis. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Inside. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, what a find. The, the ball just comes out of Brunson's hands on time. And Middleton kicks to Connaughton. Washington inside. Brunson covering. And the shot's good from Crowder. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. The Knicks with the lead. Brunson with it. He's got seven from downtown. Hey, Crowder pulls it in. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Washington with it. Brunson picks him up. 26 seconds left in the first. Passes it to Connaughton. In the corner, Crowder with it. And another three for Milwaukee. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. And here's Brunson. They set the pick, and there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That is his first foul of the game. Launches from deep. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Bucks lead by two. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And we welcome you back to NBA action. A great tradition. Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Yeah, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc. And so far, they are hitting at a high clip. You know, something else they've done really, really well. And I know the analytics don't support it, but they've made the most out of their mid-range jumper opportunities. On the court for the Bucks. The big men on the floor for him. Giannis and Portis. Washington out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Crowder and at the small forward. Nice shot by Portis. And you can just see how confident Portis is inside. I mean, very comfortable there. Feels like he can score whenever he wants to. Crowder with the steal. Now the Bucks moving it up. A shot by Washington and he's wide open. That three off the mark. Next trail by four. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis Adentacupo remains so consistent. He said, I want to get to the position that my game is boring. People don't talk about it because I do it every single night, but I don't get bored. The greats, the best players, never get bored. They always give their best every given night, and 
That's my mindset. Kevin? Oh, D.A., I love it. Thank you so much for the report. For Milwaukee, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws, 81% as a team. And, guys, that's a pretty good improvement over last season. throw no good for Giannis and Clark we see so much more dribble handoff action these days it's part of almost every offense yeah you know it gets a little redundant but it's effective Kevin and you know the league is a copycat league if it's working you continue to do it yourself teams realize how useful it can be creating the matchups they want that's a big driver of it and players are good at running it and quite you know for fans it tends to be um, pretty entertaining because you typically are playing through your best players. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Outside Crowder. Portis sets the pick for Crowder. Shot clock at five. Here's Portis. And it's Jalen Brunson with the rebound. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. They faced off right here last time they met, but the home crowd just couldn't pull out the win. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Yeah, and that's really inexcusable. I mean, there's just no way that you can justify that. When you don't put the work in on defense, you're going to end up on the losing end. The shot's good. Love that from Antetokounmpo. No hesitation. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. And Brunson, here we go. Grimes passes to Hartenstein. Brunson against Washington. Outside Crowder fires the three. That's no good. And now he's missed two and made two. Let's it fly. And the Knicks miss again. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Pass to Connaughton. And they're moving it up. Here's Brunson. And the layup's good off the glass. Brunson's got nine. You know, Hart so good at jumping into the passing lanes, taking risk at the right time and coming up with steals. Onto Takumbo looking it over. Over in the corner, Portis. It's rebounded by New York. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, it, and really a tough break for the D. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Josh Hart. On defense, the Bucks. The defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Robinson passes to Grimes. New York moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Ajua, no good. Bucks leading by four. It's Crowder on the wing. Defended by DiVincenzo. Bochamp passes to Giannis. In the corner, Crowder with it. Outside Portis. And again, the Bucks miss. 
You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Runs in the pass to Achua. No good with the triple. Milwaukee's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. So it'll be Giannis Antetokounmpo shooting. Adds on Jalen Brunson. The Bucs shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And some changes here for the Bucs. Lopez comes in for Jay Crowder. And it's Payne in for Pat Connington. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him with an attitude timeout, timeout. of joy and unselfishness. And the Knicks Sorry. decide to take their first time out here. And a quick look at the numbers for Robinson. And he's also ranked in the top 10 in blocks per game. No trespassing when he's in the lane. And he's a top 10 rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven. And he competes with you for the entire game. Here's Grimes, covered by Giannis. From outside the arc, and the rejection by Giannis! He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And Bochamp gets it to go. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. Knicks trail by nine. Here's Brunson. He's got nine. DiVincenzo finds Robinson. And here's Brunson outside. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And Brunson more than comfortable shooting the three. And boy, is he efficient when he lets it fly. And Lopez has it in the corner. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Lopez has got the lead up to nine now for the Bucks. Brunson scanning the floor. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. The Bucs have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Now, here's Anadikumbo. He's got 11. The kick out to Lopez. The put that. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now an 11 point Milwaukee lead takes so much work to keep Giannis off the glass. He's got that great length and athleticism. Boy, he's a real problem on the board. Milwaukee's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Here's Bochamp nailed from three-point land. Bochamp's got five points now in the quarter. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Robinson sets a screen for DiVincenzo. Driving to the basket. Offensive rebound. The pass to Grind. And the rejection by Adekumbo. And he gets it back. Five to shoot. Grimes passes to Achua. On T. Brunson. Adekumbo pulls it in. Giannis has got seven rebounds in the game. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Payne. Defense is right there. Here's Portis. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Bucks leading by 12. 
Here's Payne. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got six rebounds here tonight. Knocks it loose. And there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet, but something to keep an eye on. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Randall's checked in for the Knicks. OG Ananobi comes in for Jalen Brunson. To the middle. Here's Robinson. And Robinson throws it down hard. A fantastic decision making big. Randall with the right choice there. Finding the open man. Now here's Payne. Defended by DiVincenzo. Now Payne. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Six on the shot clock. Here's Middleton in the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Well, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, he's taking it and he's almost automatic. Randall with the bucket. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now here's Middleton. He's coming off a 28-point game against New York. Randall grabs the board. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Randall with a screen for DiVincenzo. And the lead is down inside single digits. DiVincenzo's got seven points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Payne. Back to Middleton. It's up a three. Another miss by Middleton. Randall with the ball. Picked up by Portis. Here's Grimes. No one near Randall as he lets it go. Buries the long-range jumper. Now just a five-point Bucks lead. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They've held a 12-point lead early. The dish to Lopez. Portis against Randall. Beats it. Releases from the wing and drills it. And the Bucks lead by seven. Smart pass by Portis, showing the ability to make good decisions with the ball. Pass to Grimes. Randall surveying the D. From 15 feet away, goes back up, and the layup is good. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Hart, he's checked in for the Knicks. A moment here now to see the numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And he's been very active with his hands. How about the steal numbers this month? He's been really hounding on the defensive side. And Milwaukee has possession. Leading by five. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. In the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. The kick out to Lopez. Back to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. There's the three. Connects from three-point range. Middleton's got 12. Whenever you fight the shot clock, you love that Chris Middleton has the ball in those situations because he'll deliver for you. Randall outside. Lopez with the block. Ananobi against Middleton. Beats it. From about 16, Middleton can't get it to go. Knicks trail by eight. The nine-foot shot, and there it is for him. 
Hart's got his first points in this one. You know, getting inside and doing damage there really elevates Hart's game, and I'd like to see him be that kind of all-around threat. Now here's Middleton. He's got 12. Dishes to paint. Rob. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Got that one up quick. Now just a four-point Bucks lead. Boy, Hart is one of those guys you look at and you can just see the team is first with him. Never hesitates to find the open guy. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. The Bucs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First one falls for Crowder. He's checked in for the Bucks. Payne hits them both. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's got seven. Randall outside. On the wing, Ananobi. Outside, Robinson. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer, Randall. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Beasley dishes to Crowder. No good on the three. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He provided some serious rim protection in that quarter. Good luck getting the shot over this guy. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here's Tom Thibodeau. Coach, you hang your hat on defense. How can you improve there in the second half? Well, we're having a hard time matching up with their threes. We have to do a much better job with our catch-and-shoot defense. Defense finds energy, too, and that's what they'll have to work on in the second half. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And look at the Nets matchup. They have a big advantage coming in. They're clearly better when you match up the rosters. But this is why we play the game. Listen, it's obvious. Obvious is boring. I'm picking the upset. And now coming back to this game, a strong first half for the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for them, it's been about extending possessions, cashing in on second-chance opportunities. It's clear that that was the focus coming into this Stop game. Stop it, Kenny. It's easy when no one blocks you out. Jeez. True, true, true. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. We're seeing a tremendous game from Julius Randle. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. 
Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. That's the five for New York right now. A shot by Middleton, wide open. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Randall finds Brunson. Outside Robinson. And here's Randall, over by Beasley. In deep. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Bucks leading by six. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I like whenever Beasley attacks the defense inside like that because it forces them to react. The Bucks shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And the first one drops. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. So after making the first, he goes one for two. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Beasley kicks to Giannis. For three, Middleton trains the three-pointer. Middleton's got 15 points. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Thompson with it. Out guarded by Giannis. And it's been a tough game for him offensively. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Middleton the pass to Lopez. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. The shot, no good. Down low, here's Randall, And Randall throws it down. You know, guys, every year Randall seems to improve as a scorer. You know, he's looking more and more confident, more comfortable out there scoring the ball. Now here's Giannis. He's got 13 with the shot. Robinson pulls it in. The Knicks trail by eight. From deep, Clemson buries it from three-point range. He's got 17. With how fast Brunson plays, his pull-up is really unguarded. Milwaukee's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says, coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. Shots good by Middleton. Boy, I like the finesse and the focus that Middleton plays with. I mean, that's part of what allows him to finish off these tough hoops. Now here's Brunson. He's got 17. DiVincenzo kicks to Randall. Stolen by Middleton. Fast break. Here we go. Beasley with a clean look. A three-pointer off the mark. Knicks trail by nine. Thompson with it. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis, averaging about 24 and a half points a game. New York moving it around. Down to five on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Middleton against DiVincenzo. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's foul number two for him. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Uh. 
We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Lopez dishes to Middleton. Stolen by Brunson. For the finish. And Randall throws it down. What a nice burst. Randall changing ends like a guard that time. Bucks leading by seven. And here's Beasley. He has five. Let's take a moment to see the squads that have been the most dominant on the glass this season. Number five, the Knicks. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but, but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key take to their break, success. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. And the second free throw, good. Knicks trail by eight. Randall right side. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Payne passes to Antetokounmpo. Lopez outside from past the arc. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Now here's Brunson. Payne covering. Here's Robinson. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. And it's six points for Robinson. Milwaukee leading by six. Now here's Payne. He has five. Giannis high post. There's Giannis with the slam. It's been Giannis's night. His points have come in a variety of ways. And as usual, he has been relentless. Now the pass to Randall, and here is DiVincenzo. Now here's Brunson. It's over Payne. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Giannis with it. Brunson picks him up. Middleton can't get it to go. Knicks have gone somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. Brunson no good. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Eight-point game. And that one drops. Beasley's got four points in the quarter. Well, I tell you what, Beasley can really move. I mean, his drives are explosive and sudden. The defense has no way to stop him. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Has to on an open. To the middle. Outside for Robinson. Passes to DiVincenzo. The three. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Payne passes to Antetokounmpo. The kick out to Lopez. Oh, good on the triple. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. And the dunk by Robinson. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Timeout called the Bucks. And New York making a change here. Grimes is checked in. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Milwaukee leading by eight. Now Giannis, 17 points in the game. Lopez outside, 
There's the triple. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Ante de Kumbo's got three assists now in this one. Connaughton against DiVincenzo. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Brunson, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Yeah, and right when you thought that shot was leaving his hands, he reinvents it. Knicks trail by 13. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Robinson. Eight points for him. Grimes passes to Randall. And Randall throws it down. Power and mobility of Randall. That combination makes it really hard to cover him on the pick and roll. Now here's Middleton, guarded closer. And it's Payne in the corner. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Even Genzo against Connaughton. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Milwaukee leading by 14. To the paint, here's Lopez. The Knicks pull it in. Robinson's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. And he gets it to go. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Payne with it. Now defended by Randall. Let's it go. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Now here's DiVincenzo. Seven points in the game. With the drive. In the corner, it's Robinson. Pass to Randall. Lock at six. Back to Brunson. That shot off. Great D that time for Middleton. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. A minute 50 left in the third. There's the pass to Brunson. Good. Brunson's got 19 points. And Brunson recognizes how to execute inside. The D must be more physical with him. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. A different look for New York. Hartenstein's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. And Hart subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. The box also changing it up. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Antetokounmpo. And Washington subbed in for Cameron Payne. One forty-one left in the third quarter of the game. To the inside. Here's Crowder. And Crowder slams it in. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Handle a screen on Washington. And Hart has it in the corner. A shot good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got assist number eight here in this one already. Milwaukee leading by 13. 103 left to play in the third. Middleton right side. Washington finds Crowder. Off target from outside. New York's going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. 
And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That is his first foul of the game. And New York making a change here. McBride's checked in. Pass to Hart. Portis against Randall. Pass to Hartenstein. Six on the shot clock. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. Vanek shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And, and guys, you know what? That's made things hard for them in a lot of their games. I mean, that inability to convert their chances at the free throw line. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Here's Washington. Still yet to score. Pass to Connaughton. This one for three. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. The pass to McBride. Here's Grimes. The tray. A three-pointer is right on target. Grimes has got it back down to single digits for New York. Washington with it. Not a piece of it. And there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball and in doing so also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. It's his first trip to the line. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And we saw it last year, guys, because those numbers were so low. Teams weren't afraid to put him on the line uh, where points were hard to come by for him. The first one falls. Second free throw, no good. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Knicks trail by nine. Setting the floor for the Bucks. The big men on the floor for them. Giannis and Portis. Washington out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Crowder in at the three. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Grind. Shot clock at six. Had the space there, but it's offline. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted. Just didn't knock it down. 
Washington kicks to Giannis. The kick out to Crowder. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for New York. Passes it to Grind. Some nice passing by New York here. Hart, wide open. He fires. Drains it from beyond the arc. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Washington against Brunson. Here's Connaughton. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And the Bucks lead by nine. Brunson against Washington. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. The dunk by Achua. And you can tell this is a priority for Brunson. He wants everyone involved. Milwaukee leading by seven. Pass to Connaughton. Inside. Here's Giannis. Out to the Kumbo. Beats the defense again. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. And the pass to Achua. Back to Brunson. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Portis. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Offline with his three. Knicks trail by nine. To the middle. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. And it goes out of bounds. That one off heart. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Hart and then for Milwaukee. Bo Champs checked in and Cameron Payne subbed in for Washington. Nice concentration from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Outstanding job looking over the defense and staying focused on the basket. Here's Grimes. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Looking to get it going. Plays it up off the glass. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. Bucks leading by seven. And here's Payne. Pass to Crowder. Here's Bochamp. Defended by DiVincenzo. Back to Crowder. Shot clock at five. From deep. Out to the Kumbo. It's rebounded by New York. Here's DiVincenzo. And he uses the glass on the layup. Now just a five-point Milwaukee lead. DiVincenzo doing a nice job hustling on the fast break there, getting back in a hurry to finish the play. Passes it to Payne. Back to Anadokounmpo. Pass to Bochamp. A three-pointer, no good. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. The Bucs have gone 3 of 7 from the 4 in the 4th. That's a 42% mark in the court. Antetokounmpo, no good. Knicks trail by 5. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Misses the 3. After hitting 1-3 in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Payne can't hit. New York's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Crotton's with the bucket. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget, but in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Giannis slashing. Bochamp passes to Andacumbo. To the paint. And it's Portis. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got his fifth assist in this one. 
Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. A different look for New York. Robinson comes in for Isaiah Hartenstein. And Randall subbed in for Achua. And the Bucks making a change here. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. Coach not happy with the team. He told him, come on. We have to value the basketball. We're just giving it away. We'll see if they listened. Guys? Thank you, David. Now here's Brunson. The pass to Grimes. Pass to DiVincenzo. Some nice passing by New York here. Drills the three-pointer. Brunson's got 22. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Middleton outside. Let's the three fly. Sinks the triple. He's got 22. Boy, that is a real weapon in Middleton's arsenal. I mean, when you hit a three on him, he wants that sweet revenge, and he's coming back at you. Now here's Brunson. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Brunson against Middleton. Giannis outside. Outside Portis. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. Over Randall. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. That's as high percentage as it gets for him. I mean, the defense really has to be mindful of not giving him that kind of space to operate. Here's Brunson, and again, it's New York. This is the player that Brunson has become. He's capable of carrying the load offensively on any given night. Oh, here's Payne, and they call an illegal screen here. And, and you can tolerate gas like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. OG and Anobi's checked in for the Knicks. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Steven Shenzo can't hit it. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to brain it in down the stretch here. Throw good, Giannis. And so he's able to get one of two. Well, they should be looking at a three point lead. Hopefully, for them, that miss won't cost them. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Robinson sets a screen for DiVincenzo to take the lead. Shot clock at four. A slam dunk by Robinson. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 16 rebounds. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. Passes it to DiVincenzo. It's Brunson, top of the key. Six to shoot. The ball's knocked loose. It's Solomon to Kumbo. Payne in the post. Defended by DiVincenzo. Lopez, a screen on Ananobi. Here's Giannis. It's rebounded by Ananobi. 
Knicks trail by three. Pass to Brunson. Oh, staying strong inside. Brunson going right into the coverage to get the call. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Milwaukee. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. The Bucks making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. The pass to Payne. Lopez against Robinson. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's foul number two for him. Beasley against DiVincenzo. Stolen by Brunson. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. Over Beasley. Rebound Giannis and the Kumbo. Andre de Kumbo's got his 16th rebound on the night. And Middleton kicks to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lopez has got nine points here in the second half. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. Brunson with it. Now guarded by Andre de Kumbo. Brunson, good. Nerves never show through. Brunson as calm and cool as they come down the stretch. Now here's Payne. Brunson covering. And the double up on it to Kumbo. Beasley finds Middleton. From outside, off the mark. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Lopez with the steal. 146 left in the fourth. Anta Takubo can't get it to go. Knicks trail by three. On deep, Brunson. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Giannis kicks to Middleton. Fires from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Middleton's got 25 points in the game. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Now here's Brunson. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Even Genzo against Beasley. Into the lane. And it's Beasley finishing it off. Well, I tell you what, there's a little bounce to Beasley's game. This fella, uh, he can get off the ground and, and elevate on you. Now here's Brunson. He's covered closely. And the three off target. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That is his first foul of the game. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Beasley, the pass to Lopez. He kicks to Payne. Those three pointers off the mark. And here are the Knicks now, trailing here by eight. Count it. Boy, oh, this young kid is fun. Randall proving at the moment not too big for him. And they go to the intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. Faint looking very thin now, Greg, with very few ticks of the clock remaining. They'll need something special to happen, and it needs to happen fast. Lopez. 
so it's Milwaukee picking up the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Giannis. Huge, big win tonight. How did you do it? I think we just had fun. Uh, I think our guys were running to their spots, and we were able to drive the lanes, and they made the right pass, and we were knocked down shots. The ball was moving. We were defending. We were having fun. So that's why we got to win. So you need to patent that formula, I guess. Congrats on the win, man. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.